Hi guys, today I'm going to make a new video on Kids of Craft. So what we're going to do today is make some slime. So by the way, I have no idea if this is going to work at all. So um, you're just going to have to trust me. I'm just going to have to trust myself. Okay, so anyway, we're, so we're going to make some slime, like I said. Um, and what we're going to need for that is some cornstarch, a spoon. I've already put some cornstarch in this bowl, so we're going to need a bowl. Some um, plastic gloves. Some food coloring. If you want your slime slash mixture, whatever, to be a different color than white. School glue, but... By the way, I don't know if we're going to need this, so um, at the end of the video, I'm going to say what what you will need to make the slime if you want to make it. We're also going to need some salt, just to um, uh, mix it up a little bit so that it will um, be better, and we're also going to need some water, just a little bit to sprinkle on our mixture. If you put too much in, it's gonna be a total disaster. So I hope this is not gonna to happen to me because that will be terrible. Okay, so as you see, I've like I said, I've already put some cornstarch in this bowl. Um, I put about three to five scoops of cornstarch in the bowl. Next thing, we're gonna put some salt in. And then, I'm gonna leave the glue out cause I kinda, I, I think it will dry it out faster than it should. So I want my slime to be blue. So I'm gonna put four drops of blue food coloring into my slime. Do not put more of this in there. This is a very powerful ingredient. Okay, final ingredient. This is really important to know. Um, the water. The water is just as powerful as the food coloring, if not more powerful. So I'm just getting mine from the hose. My grand grandparents' house. Okay, I don't want that. No. No. Definitely not. Okay, that's good. So I'm just gonna um spray my mixture with this setting. Mist. I don't know. So. Um, just keep the cornstarch out of the way so it won't make that slime inside the cornstarch. Okay, that's enough. I was holding it on full power, so it's pretty powerful. Okay, now just stir your slime around. I think I've added just the right amount of um, water it, but I'm not sure. Sometimes this can take a little while for um, the cornstarch to actually mix in with the water. So it'll kind of look like this if you didn't put enough water in it. So I was wrong when I said that I thought I put in enough water. So just put in some more water if it looks like that to you. Okay, like I said, you don't want to put in too much water. So I think I'll leave it like this. I think it's perfect. So you just stir it until it looks like a slimy kind of mixture. But it doesn't, so it, is, that it doesn't look like really crumbly. But that it doesn't look like actual water with food coloring in it. You want it to kind of look like water. But then also not so this is what it should look like in the end 
So this is gonna be, this is, uh, I'm so happy this worked out for now. I have no idea if you guys like it or anything, but I think I really enjoyed making this. But since I'm not finished yet, you just have to see until, and, and just keep stirring until the entire mixture has come together and the food coloring is just the right color for you. Do not forget this, you will be stirring this around in the future. So you might want to save some of the stirring for the food coloring for later, but I'm like kind of the type that doesn't like doing that, so I just have my slime just like this. I mean, sometimes I like doing it, but most of the time I don't. So now this is what my hands look like. That is why you always need gloves when you touch the slime. So this is what my slime looks like. I think this was a total success. Um, I hope you like this video. And I hope I can see you in the next video that I make. I hope you really like this video. If you liked it, um, please leave a comment below. Goodbye.